Okay, so I'm just uh, working. I'm on. I'm currently on location. Um, I do. Uh, I don't know if I told you before. I do uh, security protection, all that sort of stuff. So today I'm. Uh, well, for the last few days, I've been working on a on a film set, asset protection, close protection, all that sort of stuff. Uh, mainly asset protection on this job. Just looking after all the equipment and everything, such as that sort of thing. <laughs> you know, got a lot of lot of equipment here. You know, cameras and all sorts. So um, that's what I'm doing. Just. Uh, making sure the site is safe and there's no uh, paparazzi or trespassers or anything. Uh, it's pretty much wrapped up now anyway, all the shooting, all the filming. So uh, yeah, just sitting in the car in the rain and uh, you know, trying to keep myself sane. This is a gadget that I've just received in the post yesterday. So it runs on gas and the pack is just here. And what it is, is a little heater uh, it's a little camp set, yeah, so it's a little food heater, um, runs on gas, got two little little pots and pans in there, uh, and it's just fantastic. It's got everything you need in here to be able to eat food, warm food, warm up drinks and all that sort of stuff, so it's pretty good. So food for today, I wanted to go old school because we're testing out this new little camp stove thing here. Uh, I've got some baked beans and some sort of uh, hot dog sausages but chicken ones so beanies and weenies we're gonna have a cowboy breakfast and to go with that I just got some uh, just some buttered bread in there and if I do get a little bit hungry later because I'm here for 12 hours and uh, 14 hours out of the house I've got some ramen chicken ramen just there as well so that should suffice me for the day I got a couple of liters of water uh, I got some uh, lemon juice in there, lemon water, a coffee there. I got lots of access to coffee, so I don't have to worry about that. And a few biscuits if I need them. Uh, try and lay off a biscuit. So, but that is the food for today, and we're going to be using that tiny little camp stove heater. We're going to be testing it in the field. <laughs> well, in the grounds of a very nice house, anyway, uh, from the back of the car. So that's what we're testing today. We're going to be testing the little kit. And, uh, and I'll show you the kit in a second. Okay, so we're gonna open up this little kit here. So I got this on Amazon and it was about 20, 22 pounds, I think, delivered. So, so what we got is, it comes in the little carry, carry bag and you just sort of pull that apart. And what you have here is a little, so you can use that to boil water, make a coffee or something. You can probably drink from that as well. Yep. You do have a little cup, yeah, and uh, it's got a heat protector on there. So it's got a heat protection so this little sleeve on there, so that that just stops the cup getting too hot, so you can hold it. Yep. And. The bigger pot at the bottom. Again, these just come forward. Yeah. There we go. So you got a handle. It's got measuring on there as well. So it's just got some uh, inside. You can see it's got 800 milli milliliters, 600, 400, 200, and fluid ounces as well. So inside on the uh, so you know exactly how much uh, liquid you're holding in there. So that's pretty cool. So you can put your food in there, your chow, and then chow down. Right, so these are the good bits here. All right, firstly, comes with a little kit. I mean, I was, I'm just impressed. I'll be, I can't wait to sort of see how it works because it all looks a bit too good to be true at the minute. So this is a little foldable fork. Yeah, so it folds out, folds flat, opens up, you get yourself a fork. Same with the spoon, yeah, little collapsible spoon and a little collapsible knife. Yeah, so you can cut and spread and do what you need to do. So that's pretty cool. It all collapses and goes back in the little pouch. 
I just think you get, you know, it's, it's pretty good for the money. Right, this is the good bit. This is the good bit. This is the uh, inventive, ingenious bit. So, you got this. Alright, so that is the base. It all clicks out. That is the base for your fuel. Yeah? So it makes it nice and sturdy when it's on the ground. So it's not going to topple over. All right, so that's the base. And then in this, you've got this. Yeah, tiny little sort of can. You can see. <laughs> Safety first. Alright. And that goes there. And then your your little pot obviously goes on top and you heat your food up. Jeez, that weird it does, right? Yep. You turn it off. Turn it off. And that is your little food system, your cooking system. And for 20, for 20 pounds, I am very, you just unscrew it when you're not using it. Yeah. I am very impressed. I'm gonna open the door, because I don't wanna die of carbon monoxide poisoning. All right, so that is, the little kit, so I'm going to be using that later. Alright, so we're going to just do this in the boot because I think that's probably the safest place to do it. Take that off. Right, so when you've been eating cold sandwiches every day for, uh, for about four days, uh, you know, the thought of having something nice and warm, especially on a cold day like today, it's just a dream come true. So look at that, to have steaming hot food, even if it is just beanies and weenies <laughs> with some bread, is pretty good, you know. Especially, like I say, on a cold day like today. Really cold, damp, miserable. So the idea of just having some beanies mm -hmm, and weenies. <laughs> it's nice and warm. It's pretty good. Mm. Let's taste it. So just so get a weenie on there. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's taste. Mmm. 
<laughs> yep. I gotta say, mm, 20 pounds, 23 pounds, well spent because I'll be using this a lot now, especially when I'm on location in the middle of nowhere, no real facilities, certainly nowhere to cook food. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is a treat. Mm. Anyway, so I hope that was informative. And I'll speak to you guys next time.